Welcome back everyone. We continue our conversation of tough but very important topics. We have Heather with Hospice of the Red River Valley to talk about how a community can help you get through grief from loss. Good morning, Heather. How are you? Good morning. Well, it's wonderful to have you here. This topic is a sad and difficult one, but a very important one. And before we get into that, though, for people who aren't quite sure what hospice is, how would you describe that work? Hospice is really providing comfort and dignity at the end of one's life. And oftentimes there's that myth that we get involved at the very end of one's life. But we really do like to get involved early on and be able to meet with our families, support them through the process, and really help to our patients to live their best days. I think that's what everyone wants too, <laughs> for to have everyone uh, live uh, happy and peaceful days as long as they can. And so the topic of grief, you encounter it a lot uh, in that line of work. What advice do you have or general guidance do you have for people when it comes to experiencing grief? Well, that's a really good question, and I think um, it's really individual to, to people out there. As we know, grief is very individual, and so um, it's important to have a good support system to reach out and accept the help of others, which we know isn't always easy for us. And um, just to take good care of yourself, we talk a lot with our bereaved families about the importance of self-care, finding healthy ways of coping, and um, just being in community with others. So that last part you said there, being in community with others, how does hospice help in creating that community? Yeah, so we do that by a number of ways, including um, our grief support groups, which we run monthly. Um, our groups are both in person and virtual at this time. And um, we have a range of different groups available for people, including a group specific for loss of a young partner or spouse, um, for widows, and for pregnancy and infant loss. And then we are running some programming this coming spring too, and our Journeying Through Grief classes are coming up. Um, we're offering those throughout our Minnesota, North Dakota area at various office locations. And that's just a really nice opportunity for people to come together and share their experience, learn a little bit more about the grief process. Um, again, you know, how, how do we cope through that? How do we find um, good self-care and good healthy ways of coping? and also to, to learn how to move forward with our grief and um, do that by honoring and remembering our loved ones. And if you know someone in your life that has experienced grief and you are worried about that person, mm -hmm. how would you approach the situation of bringing that topic up? Because I think that can be awkward for some people. Mm -hmm. They might say, oh, I can see this person struggling. I know that they're struggling with it, but I don't, I don't want to overstep or I don't want to be out of line. What would you recommend to those people? Yeah, absolutely. And we do get calls like that oftentimes from concerned family members. And so we talk through them, you know, on, on ways that they can support their, their loved one that they're concerned about. Oftentimes just showing up and being there for them is really important. We don't always have to have the right words. Oftentimes there are no right words, right? So uh, it's just being there, being present, being really willing to journey that process with them. Um, we can help out by doing things around the home, maybe inside or out, um, picking up some tasks for them that maybe are hard for them to accomplish at that time. Um, and also encouraging them to reach out to talk with someone, whether it's a professional, um, clergy, you know, someone that they feel comfortable with. And if people are looking to get more information about a variety of the classes that you have or looking to get mm -hmm. advice, how, how can they get a hold uh, of either you or someone with hospice? Yeah, so you can um, look at all of our grief support programming on our website, which is www.hrrv.org. Um, you can also contact us at our 800 number, which is 1-800-237-4629, and ask to talk to the grief support department. Grief Support Department, okay. All good advice here and a wonderful organization. And from my, what I understand as well, they're accept, they can always accept donations as well if you would like to support their mission. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, oh, well, wonderful things here. An important need that is filled in our community. So thank you for coming on today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Coming up here on today's show, we sit down and ask an attorney your legal questions. That's ahead.